the tragic event in Las Vegas that claimed the lives of 58 innocent victims and the wounding of over 500 concert fans on Sunday evening became simply another talking point for Hillary Clinton, which once again reinforced why she lost the election to Donald Trump. Rather than allowing the human suffering and compassion of the moment to take hold, Clinton instead decided to politicize the tragedy while victims were still fighting for their lives in Las Vegas, which once again brings to mind another event in 2012 in Benghazi, as then-Secretary of State Hillary Clinton repeatedly lied to the nation and the families of Ambassador Stevens, Sean Smith, and Navy SEALs Duherty and Woods, about the true nature of that event. Clinton took to social media and rather than simply acknowledge the heartbreaking event still unfolding in Las Vegas and decided to make an overt political observation tweeting, Imagine the deaths that would have occurred if the gunman had used a silencer. Her reference to silencer was a premeditated political ploy regarding the current debate before Congress regarding the Hearing Protection Act which will remove cumbersome requirements now governing suppressor sales so that law-abiding citizens can acquire them for hearing protection without being fingerprinted, photographed, and paying a special tax to the federal government. And rather than allow investigators in Las Vegas to conduct their probe as to the event leading up to the bloodbath, there was Hillary tweeting about silences which apparently suggests that a suppressor on a firearm would have created more carnage, because it would be silent, the fact that there were over 22,000 individuals in a confined space within a music venue doesn't seem to register with Clinton, that nothing would have prevented the carnage within a penguin venue. Moreover, before the bodies were even moved to the morgue for identification, there was Hillary once again calling for gun control and blaming Gunra, and astoundingly proclaiming within the same tweet that she wasn't making a political statement. Perhaps we should recall another statement Hillary made before a congressional investigation during the Benghazi hearing and her now famous impassioned plea of, what difference does it make? Do you believe Hillary Clinton will continue damaging the Democratic Party well into 2020? Thanks Sources News for the help with this.